When bricklaying, mortar is used for bedding and jointing bricks and blocks. It's made from a mixture of sand, water, cement and plasticizer. Mortar should be workable, which means you should be able to roll and spread it easily. Mortar can be mixed either by hand or machine. This video will show you how to use a machine mixer, which is useful when you need to make up large quantities. Before using this machine, you should make sure the power is switched off. You should then familiarize yourself with the controls and also check the wires and leads for any damage. Once you're sure the mixer is safe, you can switch it on. Make sure that the mixer is set up on level ground before doing so. Before mixing, you'll need to accurately measure the correct proportion of materials to be mixed. Weight is the most accurate way of measuring materials. However, smaller amounts can be gauged in buckets. First, add the correct volume of water to the drum before starting the mix. Check the consistency of the sand, see how dry it is. Add the sand to the drum. If the sand is too dry, add water to improve its consistency. Next, you should place part of the cement into the mixer. Remember that you'll need to gauge the cement to be sure you're using the correct ratio. Then add plasticizer to water and add this to the mix. Plasticizer is used as it coats the grains of sand in tiny bubbles of air, allowing the sand to flow more easily. The drum on the mixer will explain the amount of plasticizer you'll need to add. Now add more cement, making sure you don't exceed the gauge. You'll also need to add more water at this stage. The mix must be kept wet, otherwise it will start to dry out and stick to the drum. Allow the materials to mix fully for a minimum of two minutes. Once the mix has been completed and the consistency of the mortar is correct, empty it into a wheelbarrow. This makes the mortar easier to move around site. Once you've finished with the mixer, you should then add more water to the drum and allow it to wash out. This will stop any leftover mortar from hardening and sticking to the drum. You can also use ballast or gravel to help clean out the remaining mortar. <laughs> 